from VOA Learning English. This is the economics report. Many people who want to buy goods, pay for services, or send money anywhere in the world are using Bitcoin. They do not have to use banks or credit cards when they use the electronic money. Bitcoin is not issued by governments, yet it is bought, sold, and exchanged like other currencies through trading companies. Bitcoin is electronically protected or encrypted. Jerry Brito is a technology policy analyst at George Mason University. He says Bitcoin is the world's first true digital currency that is not controlled by anyone. However, the very things that people like about the digital currency are also what criminals like about it. They want to move money from place to place secretly, without governments knowing about it. Law enforcement agencies in the United States recently closed an online market that used Bitcoin. Marco Santori is the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation's Regulatory Affairs Committee. He notes that all Bitcoin deals can be seen by all other computers. He says Bitcoin is regulated. He says the Bank Secrecy Act regulates those who exchange Bitcoins for other digital currencies or for dollars. The amount of Bitcoin in the system must always be counted and tracked. The United States, Germany, and many other governments accept the use of bitcoins. Some officials have called for stronger regulations. China recently banned its banks, but not businesses, from trading in bitcoin. The value of a bitcoin has increased since the digital currency began in 2009 it has gone from being worth just a few pennies to being valued at hundreds of American dollars. For VOA Learning English, I'm Laurel Bowman.